Mayor, Council, Chief, Robin, and the and the others we have, Bobby and I would like to express our appreciation for the opportunity to come before you again. We have been here before, and I'm sure everyone knows who we are and what we do. So, for and to try to avoid redundancy, I won't go into the who we are and what we do. I think you'll pick up on it. If anybody has any questions at the end, uh, if you would be so kind, please wait until Bobby gets through with our presentation. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, the Board of Directors would like for me to communicate to you that we like to think that we are as interested in this town as you are. And I hope our behaviors display that, that philosophy. Uh, personally, I believe the three main elements in a Main Street program is communication, communication, communication. We want to do a better job in the future than we have in the past in communicating things that we're doing, what we're about, etc. We want you to be aware of everything that's going on. It's important, it's critical that you know that. So with that, I'll uh, get my shoe. Bobby does all the work. So we'll, we'll get Bobby to come up and she'll, she'll share with you where we're at. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. He's passing the button. <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for giving us a few minutes and, and really we just want to update you on some of the projects that we're working on and to let you know what we are doing in the Main Street program. Uh, I'm going to announce for Tracy that uh, we're having a Mine Rescue Safety Days July the 23rd, 24th and 25th at the college and it, it's open competition. They have 17 teams. And we thought maybe this might be the last one, but I don't, maybe it won't. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have teams again next year. But everybody's invited to come over and watch the competition if they'd like to. And I uh, wanted to tell you that we have res have been recertified from the state for another year. We weren't sure we would be. They have a, a lot of new officers in the state in the Heritage Council, we weren't sure what was going to happen, but we got a letter this week saying that we have been recertified and we meet their criteria, so all the projects that we're working on are in accordance with the uh, Main Street program, state and national. Uh, I guess you all saw all those motorcycles in town last week. That's a part of their endeavor to bring more people into the Tri-City area to eat in the restaurants and to buy gas. I think there was about 30, I'm not sure, but that's one of several that are scheduled to come in and to uh, take these loops that the route has been developed. Uh, we didn't have the brochure. Tracy's almost got it, but we don't have it printed and to hand out. But we, next time we'll probably won't come to the meeting, but we can bring some and link them for you all to see some of the things. Um, have a bicycle ride, and she did give me one of these to pass around. October the 5th, we're having a ride to the top of Lake Mountain. There's three different levels of the ride for the people to take, and people are already calling about it, and uh, these professional bikers don't seem to mind. They're looking forward to Black Mountain. Good for them, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I can coast them. But we could always come oh, down. Come down. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I know. I take my chance to split it We may have to have a Memphis pickup truck on the road. We may have to have a bus to take some folks up and maybe pick them up. Yeah. I'm going to go around and see you next time. That's right, that's right. We've got to have EMS along the way. And that is true. That is true. We have to have uh, safety first aid stations along the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, plus, we have to have water stations and all those uh, places along the way. And we're hoping our local people will jump in on these and take advantage of 
making a little extra money along the way. Of course, I think some of the churches are probably going to hand out water bottles and things like that to make them welcome. Uh, we have been, this is all part of this Trail Town initiative, and there has been so many possibilities come up in the last couple of weeks. And talking about the bicycle, today I had a lady call, and she said, and she's local, well, she's from Lancaster County, and said she was interested in opening a bicycle shop here in town and wanted to know how many empty buildings we had. So we're getting a lot of calls about the buildings, uh, things that are already going on and adding to them. Uh, of course, we're losing Richie. We've already lost Richie down here, but we're working on the new barber to come in there. Not sure if he's coming or not. His wife wants to come to Cumberland, but I'm not sure what he's going to do. Uh, we're working on, uh, with another group, on a pro nail shop. It's, it's uh, pictures and manicures. And we have, I don't know how many uh, diabetics that we have in the area that need food care. And this is the main thing we're working on this for. You can get a manicure at some of the shops here, but the pedicure part is we have a lot of men and older ladies who need this foot care, and that's what we're working on here. Uh, we have, uh, we actually have someone looking to, about a restaurant. Actually, two people have called about visiting a restaurant in here. And, uh, and then we also have a, a veterinarian that's looking into the possibility of opening a whale animal clinic. So we have a lot of bikes coming in from this Trail Town initiative. That, that, we've feels, uh, that feeding drain that you asked me to check, check them if they said Okay, that, okay. That's, that's another one. And, uh, and then in Lynch, I think we've got going to have a bed and breakfast opening up there that's got about six bedrooms and then um, of course a possible gift shop opening up in Lynch Firehouse it's not settled either in that restaurant you know where they cross the border uh -huh. right here, yeah it's going to be open again. oh we Mr. Keith is no, Riley oh yeah Riley right. yeah right um, and yeah and it's almost ready to open so uh there's quite a few things going on right in the middle of Lynch, which is good because it gives them a face look and it has built their ego up to help them get some things going up there. Uh, have you heard anything from the Corps of Engineers? Uh, uh, he's, uh, the money is gone. They, they ran out of money and our, our project is on, on suspension right now. He, he said it's not canceled, it's postponed. Mm -hmm. but you're, you're looking at years, two, three, four years, mm -hmm. until they can get the money built back up with again. But they gave Lynch three hundred thousand uh, dollars. So yes. we're, you know, if they've got money, somewhere new projects, they should have finished the old. Pro That's why you know it yeah. could have been if they finished the old projects before mm -hmm. they start the new ones. Yeah. But maybe they're getting the money sooner than what they saw. I hope so. Well, you know, Shannon Ricketts been coming to our trail cam meetings, and she said that. Congressman Rogers was still working on this, trying to get the money for Cumberland. So we still have him on our side, <laughs> I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, starting on Tuesday, July the 23rd, uh, we'll be having a family bike ride on Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock, and people will gather up at Benham in the in the park up there and they're going to have a bicycle safety training for children and they'll uh, I think someone from the state police I'm not sure Shane Jacobs I think he's coming up to teach the children bicycle safety and that will start up there and then maybe every Tuesday night there will be uh, family bike rides for fun start six uh, let's see. Uh, we probably are going to have our first horse trail ride on in September, and that's not finalized by no means. 
but it's possible that you will be starting at Putney and going up to the Ledger County line. But of course, nothing's, it's not, the governor has, a, he's supposed to paint the first ride. Is that a little ship or two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's something we have to look forward to. We want him to come because we want him to see what we have and, and put some more dollars in which we're getting ready to ask him for some money, so we want him to see what we're asking for. Um, and then tomorrow at 2 o'clock, the Trail Town will have a meeting at the Senior Building, and everyone's invited to come and hear uh, about some of the projects that are going on. There's a hiking group coming through, going through, starting at Harlan and going all the way through to Ledger County, and um, they come down and get supplies and go back up and hike. And we're, we're going to be in need of cabins and restroom facilities and all these things that we're working on right now. Um, and that's a highlight of some of the things I'm working on. Y'all have any questions? I want to congratulate you for that last RE Bob Fraser grant that you got for the city of Cumberland, $34,000 total. We're going to keep trying every time. We'll put something in every time. We might not get it every time, but we will try something until we get some all these buildings that we can cleaned up and painted up and fixed up. Of course, some of these property owners are going to have to do some things themselves. <laughs> that's that's one of the keepers. Also, to, uh, the people from Vaughn and Melton who got the grant from the state, the state's paying for this planning grant that for that trail that will come down from Kingdom Come into Cumberland. And that is basically being designed for the people who use the trail to be able to come to Cumberland to do their shopping. So uh, you might want to keep in mind anything Vaughn and Melton have said they will do anything they can to help Cumberland with any projects that need engineering or consulting help. So we need to take advantage of this money. It's $150,000 and anything, any expertise they have would sure help us in, in this area to open up doors for, uh, to tell us where to apply for funding and how to apply and, and all of the things that we need. So many different things here to boost the economy and, and to get our towns looking better. Right. So if you're, if you'll probably go tomorrow, I'm, I'm not sure, but it's at, it's at two o'clock and anyone's welcome to come and just to find out for yourself the things that are going on. But there are opportunities for these trail towns through the state we got a notice from ARC that communities that are attempting trail town will have not first choice on all the grants. They will have extra, you know how you get extra points for certain things you do. So trail towns are, are going to be up a little higher than just a regular community. One thing I'd like to know about this trail. <coughs> uh -huh. What about liability insurance? I mean, what what's the city's obligation to keep it trails up? I mean, you see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, at this point, they're not in the city, at least that one from the... That's, that's what I was asking about, the one that's been least, proposed. Yeah. And, they, and they did tell us yesterday... <coughs> Tracy knows more about this than I do, but they did tell us that uh, the road, the other road above the, above the cemetery up there. Which cemetery? Above Jackson Bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That they would probably have the drawings on that road completed in the next year and then it would not start construction until the following year. But now Vaughn and Melton know all about that too. Yes, they want to go to the park. Yeah. At new, the new road to the park. I just want to know about the city's liability for upkeep and things like that. 
because to the city. That portion's not in the city. In the portion. In that later. State well, if you're state talking about them coming into the city, though. Well, it depends on which way they come. If the county accepts the responsibility or if the state does, it depends on which way they come with it. And those are questions that Vaughn and Melton could probably Because when it comes to spending, you know, money, we need to know. I believe that the county has given their assurance that they will help maintain the trails because they see this as a benefit to the whole county. And I, I agree, but you know, when you're, when you're making a plan and stuff, right. you need to know That's what right. your obligation is going to be. Yeah. Well, now he can probably answer that tomorrow. So, uh, Everybody has meetings on church day. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know where, I think uh, this is my fourth meeting today. Oh, is that out? Well, I bet you're meeting out. I have met out. Well, you're talking. This is my fourth meeting today. We had uh, one at 11, one at 2, and I went to lunch at 5 in here. So, yeah, sometimes we have to move them to Wednesday. Tomorrow we've only got...